Hello everybody and welcome back to Gaming on Caffeine. My name is Isaac and we're back playing some Crash Landing for episode 29. Now, last episode I mentioned our power situation over here. And we're in a bit of a pickle because at the minute we are using only survivalist generators. Which are producing I think about 150, maybe closer to 200 redstone flux per tick in total. Which... Up until recently wasn't too bad. We were just running a few of these pulverizers and the planter and the harvester, which most of the time weren't even doing anything anyway because this barrel here was full of stuff. But now we have the planter, we have the harvester, we have three pulverizers, each running at 40 redstone flux per tick. Occasionally we have the sawmill running, which also adds an extra 20 redstone flux per tick. That alone, all this stuff over here alone, is enough to max out all of those survivalist generators and then when you throw in the fact that the a system is constantly using power occasionally we're using the magma crucible which tests to a ton of power uh, recently i've been using the induction smelter we just added the fruit picker which is constantly using power we just added all these machines up here which are all using power pretty much cons like constantly this thing here i have turned these off by the way for now because we were running out of power but uh, this thing here, the rancher, will just continually uh, eat power. And even if it's not producing more milk, it will sit there and just tear through power and do, um, and like keep trying and trying and trying, which is not great. So, uh, what I've done is I've disconnected this cable here. So, none of this stuff uh, over there has power right now. And the reason I did that is because our AE system shut off. And we can't really have that. If our AE system shuts down, we are out of things. We can't do anything else. So, uh, if I just show you here, here real quick, I'll grab some charcoal and I'll throw it in here. This is making steel, by the way. Uh, one and getting four charcoal makes us uh, four steel, I believe, or maybe one steel. Yeah, one iron and getting four charcoal makes one steel. But uh, if you do that, you'll see that this power is is slowly draining. We're not actually. Oh, is it? It might be. A second ago, I was using this thing here, and, and this was going down, and this was just dying. This actually died on me a few times, which was a bit of a pain. I had to wait for it to fill back up. Uh, it seems to be holding steady right now, but I have disabled uh, a few of the, like I say, most of that stuff over there. So a lot of the other things that were using power are no longer using power. Anyway, the bottom line is we need more power. That's what we need. We need more power. Now, there are a few, a few ways we could do this. We could make a few more of these reactant dynamos over here. We have enough gunpowder and pretty much like a shizwa ton of mob essence to, uh, to power all those. We could do that. Uh, but what I want to do is I want to use a big reactor because big reactors are kind of cool. They're pretty big and they produce a lot of power. And also you can sort of recycle some of the fuel that you use from them and, and use it again. You can use the yellowium to turn it to blue. I think it's blue yeah, cyanide, I think it is. And then you can reprocess that cyanide and use it again. And it's pretty cool that way. So the only problem was uh, if we wanted to make a big reactor, if we going to add to big reactors, we need uh, a power tap, an access port, uh, quite a lot of these reactor casing, uh, a fuel rod, and a reactor controller. Now, everything apart from, like, if we look at uh, the uh, access port, the power tap, the uh, yellowium fuel rod, the reactor casing, and even the, where is it, this thing here, the reactor control rod, even though it's expensive because it requires one of these uh, 300 logic expansion cards, have a recipe. However, the reactor controller does not, and that is kind of a pain. So what I did is I went out and I went to the normal city that we have over here. And as you'll know if you watched last episode, I couldn't find uh, one of the big reactor controllers. And you're supposed to be able to find these in cities now, by the way. Uh, so what I did is I went, if you can see on the minimap here, to uh, on the east, uh, the map doesn't change, but to the east, I think it's the uh, this... Ooh, it must be over there. So over that way, I, I started and I head off in that direction for like... 5,000 blocks or something ridiculous like that. If you have a look here, where points, this is at X200, this is at X almost 2,000. Uh, and that's where I found some ruins and I found one city. I then went even, and that city had none in it. I then went even further to another city. And I think they have to be about 2,000 blocks apart, these cities. They're uh, coded that way. So I went even further out to try and find a, a city. I found a second city or a third city, if you will. And, and still didn't find any big reactor in there. So I'm not sure if it's a bug because I am still using um, like a uh, the beta build of 1.1.2, uh, 1, uh, 1. is it? It's, yeah, I think I'm still using the beta build of 1.1.2. So I think that might be a bug with it. Um, I'm not too sure. But instead, what I decided to do is I looked up the recipe for a reactor controller, what it normally looks like in, in big reactors. And instead, what I've decided to do is, is just give up the uh, the items for that, throw them in the trash can over there, and uh, cheat in one of the reactor controllers. Because otherwise, this episode would take like 45 million years to get out because I would have to be walking for decades or maybe just trapped in the pack, either of which would probably work. But, uh, but I'm not too sure. So what we'll do is I do have one here, a React controller. Uh, in order to make a React controller, you need. Uh, let's just go back to uh, this. Let me unsync this because this is kind of annoying. Uh, auto search. There we go. So if we go at big reactors again. 
Uh, in order to make one of these, we need four of these. So four of these rector casing, uh, a redstone and a, di a redstone a diamond and some eulorium. So uh, in order to do that, we are going to, need to get ourselves some rector casing. That is why the, we have so much steel. So let's make ourselves some of this like so. Boom. I'm just going to make all of it because <laughs> we're going to need a lot of this stuff. Might actually even need more steel, by the way, as well. So we'll see how that works out. And then I believe we do have a diamond and we need some redstone. Like so. And we should be good to go. Now, I'm probably going to have to... Oh, also running out of uh, cheeseburgers as well, which is uh, not good. Uh, I think I'm also going to have to uh, start sifting through... Is it sand again to get the aluminum dust? Let's have a look. Uh, dust. Okay, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll turn on the dust again as well uh, sometime soon so we can start getting more eulorium dust because um, if we set up the big reactor and we don't have any eulorium dust, it's kind of a waste because then there's uh, there's nothing that we can put into it. I think we are sieving through dust again. Yeah, here we go. We've got four more eulorium there. That's nice. Okay, okay. Yes, everything is fine. We have a good production of eulorium coming back in and, and everything is good in the world. So we'll take that. And what we'll do is I'll head on over to the trash can. I'll throw away four of these reactor casings as well as a diamond and some of the Elorium. And we will take ourselves to the reactor controller. So we'll get rid of you, you, and I'm going to split this off because I don't want to get rid of all of these. <laughs> and you. There we go. They're all gone. And actually, I said redstone as well. Didn't I? There we go. We'll put like four redstone in there. And boom. Okay. So now we have, in in effect, paid for our reactor controller with, uh, with some of the stuff that we had. And boom. We have it. Nice. Okay. So... I'm going to build the reactor over here, and I'm going to build it five by five, like that. Five, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, four, five. There we go. So this thing can actually be as, as big or as small as you'd like it to be. Uh, I think five by five is the smallest it can be. I You might be able to do a three by three, but I don't think you can. I think five by five is actually the smallest. Three, four, five, and we are probably definitely going to need some more reactor casings here. There we go. And then to dip, dip, ba dip, ba dip, ba dip, ba dip, ba dip, 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 dip. Ah, oh, we're a little bit off. Okay, so we need one more piece of reactor casing to go there. And then we need to fill these little uh, sort of like nine slot holes here. So nine, 18, 27, 36. Uh, we need a bunch more. <laughs> we need a bunch of stuff. Uh, we need a bunch more glass. I like to fill those with glass. And the, uh, the reactor glass is made using two hard... Ah, oh, that's... That's expensive. <laughs> it's using two hardened glass and another reactor casing. So, we may have to cut away, guys, because I think we are going to have to A, sift through a bunch more uh, a bunch more dust in order to get some more eulorium, because every single piece of this thing requires, or every four pieces requires a eulorium. And then, of course, we need a bunch of hardened glass, which means we're going to have to go make a bunch of obsidian, pulverize it up, and, and turn that into uh, to hardened glass with some lead. So, let's grab some more iron. We'll throw that into there. Let's grab some more charcoal, which we have pretty much uh, infinite amounts of over here. We will take you. Thank you very much. And we'll throw that into here. This is a bit of a pain because it doesn't go through uh, iron and charcoal at the same rate. It goes through the uh, the charcoal a little bit faster. But, uh, but that's fine. That's going to sit there and chew through that to make some more steel. Uh, in order to get ourselves some more graphite, which I think we are going to need, we're going to need even some, some more charcoal. And we're going to have to turn that into um, to graphite in the furnace. So, let's head back over here. We will swap this out in a second. And then I think what I'm probably going to do, guys, is I'm probably going to cut away and um, wait for that thing to finish over there, all that to finish smelting. I will, uh, I'll head round to our barrel stuffs. I'll, I'll make some lava. I will make some more obsidian and then we'll pulverize obsidian using the induction smelter we'll combine it with lead to make some hardened glass and i think i will be back in a second hopefully fingers crossed with with some more eulorium and some more hardened glass and enough stuff to uh, to finish off the reactor controller which would be quite nice but i think one more thing that i'm going to do before i cut away right here is first of all just get rid of some stuff in my inventory because i don't need you you or you guys and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start preparing the the liquid that we're going to use in our big reactor. So for those who don't know how the big reactor works, we have a fuel rod in the middle, or three fuel rods. So we're going to need some of these th fuel rods here. We're going to need one, two, three going uh, up the center. And that's going to hold the fuel. Now, the fuel that we're going to use is obviously going to be eulorium. Uh, and at the top of that, we have one of these uh, reactor cool, uh, cooler pots, cool control pots. Uh, and that's going to be at the top. And then around that rod, so in all of these slots here, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one, we're going to have sort of pillars of, of cool 
coolant or a fluid. Now, you can use multiple coolants. You can use any of the thermal expansion liquids, the energized glowstone, the redstone, the ender pearls. You can even use water, even though water is not that good. Um, I think you can even use nothing, but well, nothing's just like the worst you can use. Uh, it's not going to blow up. Nothing's going to happen if you don't cool it. It's just the better you cool it, the more power you can get out of it. Now, one of the best liquids that you can use is actually the liquid ender pearls from thermal expansion and the best thing i believe you can use is diamond blocks but um as you may or may not have noticed we have no diamonds so we don't really have enough to be doing like whatever one two three four five six seven eight is that eight eight times by we don't even, like we don't have 32 diamond stacks so we, we don't have that many we don't have that many we, just, we don't have that much stuff so what we're going to do is we're going to take another stack of you and you and we are going to throw these into the magma crucible and do we have anything in here we don't good stuff and we're going to start we're just going to start cooking those up so that what we can do is just put a bucket in here and then oh, nope not like that <laughs> we can just put a bucket in here and once that's ready we can start filling this up and we only actually need one two three four we only need to we don't have to make them all sauce blocks we only need one for each of these so we only need eight buckets worth so it's not that bad and we've got a bunch of ender pearls anyway so that should be fine so uh, yeah i'm gonna go do that guys and i'll be back in a second once we have everything we need Okay, so a little while later, and we have made some progress with the big reactor. So what I usually like to do with these things is I usually like to have reactor glass in uh, all of the sides, like at the top, the left, the right, and the back. But uh, in this case, I went to make some obsidian. I made quite a bit of obsidian, but only managed to get myself 12 hardened glass. So instead, I, uh, well, 12 hardened glass plus the, the, the one straight these as well. Uh, so I decided instead to just make the whole thing out of reactor casing, apart from the front, because we want the front to look a little bit cool. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make a little bit more of the reactor reactor glass like so we'll make uh, that only gets us two more pieces you see how expensive it would have been to, uh, to sort of like deck the whole thing out so we only need what one two more there actually i think that's it because we're going to have a power tap on one side this allows us to take and well it allows us to take the power out of the reactor and then we're going to have a oh i'm getting a little bit of lag there are we, are we okay I think we are. Uh, we've got a power top on the left there, and then on the right we have to have an access port so we can feed the alloyum in. So, what we need to do now is we need to make that uh, that reactor control rod at the top, which is pretty much the hardest bit of the whole process, because this thing requires uh, a PRC LX300 logic expansion card, which looks pretty scary. However, we do have most of the stuff. We are just missing the uh, the three fluxed electrum ingots which are made from fluxed electrum blend and pyrothium dust now i believe we have some pyrothium dust from last episode and some fluxed electrum blend from the a couple of episodes back and we do so i'll take you and we'll throw that in there that's going to get us two however we are going to need three so i think we're going to need another pyrothium and another fluxed electrum so we're going to need another pyrothium which is something like this Boom. Nice. We can make a lot of pyrothium. And then we're going to need another piece of fluxed electrum, which I believe is electrum blend and destabilized redstone. It is. Okay, so I think we still have some uh, electrum. Actually, we still have some electrum blend. And then redstone, destabilized redstone is fairly easy to get. Now, the problem arises when we want to make this, because at the minute, uh, all of our resonant ender is kind of in here waiting to be taken out and put into there. Now, the reason there's a downside there is because um, this stuff actually has a bit of a, an odd feature, if you will. If I was to break this and try and show you, uh, if I, actually, I'll do it out here somewhere. If I, hmm, I want to do somewhere safe. Um, if I was to try and use this, uh, this stuff actually moves you about. Actually, I'll just dig a hole and put it in because otherwise it's going to be a pain. But if I jump in here, I get teleported away. I'm actually outside of the compound now, uh, which makes it a bit of a pain to use. So uh, let's try and get back in. And uh, let's, there we go. Okay. So, I think what we're going to have to do is, do we have some sort of tank? That would be the easiest thing here, wouldn't it? I think if we have some copper and some glass, I think we can make a fairly simple tank like this. Yes, we can. Good stuff. Okay. That seems like it's going to make the most sense. We'll put this down like here for now, and we'll just fill this up with the... Um, the uh, liquid ender pearls like this. That seems like it makes much more sense than trying to uh, store this somewhere whilst we uh, whilst we wait for everything. So we'll fill this up. Whilst we're waiting for this to fill up, let's uh, chuck some redstone into here. Not quite sure how much we're going to need, but I'll put some in there. We will finish this off. Should only have to do two more little loops. Uh, we should actually be able to fill this thing up, but I think we are one shot, so we're going to have to go get four more ender pearls after this. But that's off. That's fine. Uh, okay, so we got that. We can throw you in there. That should get us another piece of fluxed electrum. And then when we throw that in there as well, we should be pretty much good to go. So we'll throw you in there. Take you. And once this is finished, we should be able to make ourselves the uh, the reactor controller. And I was going to go do something else, but this is pretty much done. So we'll take that. 
And then we'll go boom, 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 to boom. Nice. So we've got the reactor control rod, and this thing can go in the top of this guy here. Now, with bigger reactors, you can put as many of those control rods in as you want. And the more of those you have in, and the more sort of like... I'll show you in a second once we've got rods of fuel in. But the more of these uh, fuel rods that you could fill with the Elorium that you can put into your reactor, the more power it will produce. So we want to get one of these. We want to get a few of these, actually. Uh, three is the magic number that we're going to need. So, oh, look at... Ah, <laughs> so close. We need one more piece of steel. That's fine. We should be able to uh, to muster up one more piece of steel we need to go grab three charcoal and uh, we should be good to go jeez that is uh that's very close okay one two three there we go and we'll throw these guys into here and that should do so what we do with these fuel rods is we we set them up like this we have one there one there and then one at the bottom and then we surround everything else with the um the liquid liquid uh ender pills. i can't think of that what's it called is it uh, resident Endo. Okay, there we go. I can never remember the name of that thing. Uh, let's get our Crescent Hammer, because we don't need this destabilized redstone anymore. Uh, we'll put that back down. We will grab four more Ender Pearls. There we go. Uh, because four Ender Pearls makes a uh, bucket of Resident Endo. We'll throw that in there. We will take you, throw you in here. And boom. We are pretty much good to go. So we'll throw that down there. We will grab, start grabbing buckets of this stuff. And this <laughs> is going to be a pain. Alright, let's, uh, let's move this a bit closer. And actually, hmm, I'm thinking that the best way to do this is actually going to be from the top. So, yeah, that seems like it would make more sense than trying to do it from inside. So, I'm going to break the top of this, like so. And I'm going to put the resonant endo in after we've filled up the front there. So that we should be able to, uh, to just put it in, fill the top over, and not have, like, not have to worry about falling into this stuff and uh, jumping around all over the place. So, we're going to need a power tap, which is just redstone and reactor casing. And then we're going to need an access port, which is this guy here. I don't think we have a piston, so we can make another one. And boom. Oh, we don't have a chest either. Okay. We don't have any wood either. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Uh, do, 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 do. Ba -do -ba -do. Ba -do. Nice. Boom. Done. Okay, good stuff. So we'll throw one of you down like here, and one of you down like here. We will build up to the top using some form of building material. Dust sounds very nice, because we have a ton of it. And we will go like this. Okay, so we'll throw down our tank. There are a lot of mobs coming at us, but that's fine. They can't get to us. Uh, the skeleton might be able to shoot me, though, which is... I'll hide behind this tank. So we'll put one there... One there, one there. Yep, I thought as much. One there. One there. Ah! <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, well, that was fun. Okay, come on. We got this. We got this. Oh, I should really put that um, piece of missing glass in. There we go. One there. One there. One there. And one more. Are we out of water? We are. Let's go slowly crawl towards the water. There we go, it's fine. We have so many empty bottles. Okay, that's good. We're filled up. And we should be good to go to finish this guy off. Boom, boom. Boom. I have done this wrong. I have done this all wrong. Jeez. It needs to be one further down. Because we need to put the, the casing back in. Ah. Okay, it needs to be there. 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 Don't shift and try and grab that. It won't get you any. There. 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 And we're done. Okay. That's better. And then we'll fill this up. And we... Wow. Really? You're going to be a pain. Ah. <laughs> Everything's a pain. And we should see it uh, form together into a very nice little multi-block. There we go. Good stuff. So if it... Am I not drinking... Oh, food. Food. Shizzle. Okay, food. Toast. We need to make some more cheeseburgers. Cheeseburgers are definitely on our agenda. Flipping egg. Okay, there we go. All right, let's try to get rid of some of this dust. And you'll notice when it forms into a nice multi-block when you can no longer see, like, the lines in between. Uh, you've done it right. And it should be working just fine. So, let's get rid of all this dust that's in our way. 
And let's have a look. Now, the cool thing about this is it does have a little bit of... Oh, my God. The mobs are so loud. I'm going to bed, guys. <laughs> I'm going to go to sleep. Uh, the good thing about the, uh, the reactor controller itself is that it actually holds up to, I think, 10 million redstone flux. So it's like having an inbuilt um, redstone energy cell straight inside the thing, which is pretty flipping awesome. So it has a nice little buffer so that even if you're producing power, you don't need to, like, need to use it right away. Uh, you can sort of store it there, which is kind of cool. So we have 32 yellow EM ingots. We can have a look in here, and you'll see that... Jesus. Them flipping skeletons are loud. <laughs> and you can see, this is where we put the Elorium in. We'll throw it like that. That fills up the the core fuel. And once we hit active, uh, activate reactor, boom. We can see we are producing almost over a thousand redstone flux per tick now. We are producing, and it's still going up. Are we going to get 1.5? Maybe? 1.5 thousand redstone flux per tick? Almost. One point, uh, ooh, maybe. It looks like we're sticking around at 1,460 redstone flux per tick. And it's only using 0.08 millibuckets per tick of fuel. So this fuel might last quite a while. Uh, as you can see, it's not really going down. Uh, it's going a little bit fast. You can see it's 55, 54. I can't really. I'm, I'm pointing at my screen. You can't really see it. Uh, where it says fuel under max capacity there. It is going down, but not all that slowly. And uh, if we have a look uh, inside, you can see we have built up uh, a lot of redstone flux already. We've built up uh, a nice little buffer there. And we have up to 10 million that we could fill up. And all we've got to do to, uh, to use that redstone flux is find ourselves one of our cables and do this. Now, of course, uh, there is a downside to this. We uh, we are producing, what was that, 700? No, uh, double that. We're producing 1,400 uh, redstone flux per tick. And we are using redstone energy conduits that produce that can carry 80 redstone flux per tick. So, yeah, our system is really not set up to, uh, to cope with so much redstone flux per tick. So, what we should really do is we should probably even jump straight past the, uh, the hardened energy conduits all the way up to the redstone energy conduits because... Um, the hand energy conduits can only carry 400 redstone flux per tick, whereas the redstone energy conduits can carry up to 10,000 redstone flux per tick. So if we have a look at redstone energy conduits, in order to make these, we need these empty conduits, which are hardened glass and um, electrum, like so. That gets us 18. We need some more electrum, which we can get from our electrum blend. We could smelt this back up. And then in order to fill them up, we just need some destabilized redstone into the magma crucible, into the uh, fluid transposer, and we should be good to go. So... Uh, I feel like we're wasting a lot of redstone in this thing today, but we'll we'll throw some more in there. We will we'll grab some more of this, and we'll start at least to uh, to uh, to upgrade our system to the redstone energy conduits because hopefully that will allow us to uh, to transfer power a bit a bit faster just around everywhere. So we'll throw that into there, and that will start one by one to fill these up. Does it use a hundred each? Yes, it does. It uses a hundred every time. So what we can do is we can just start getting rid of these. We don't need these guys anymore. We can get rid of all of them, and we can start replacing those with these here. We can go. One, two, three, four. Need one more. There we go. Five. So now this guy is receiving the full uh, flipping 1,400 redstone flux per tick. And what I'm probably going to do, guys, between episodes, if we have enough electrum, uh, actually, even if we don't have enough electrum, I think we have enough uh, gold and silver, don't we? Uh, gold, we've got 132. Silver, we've got 300. Yeah, we've got enough stuff. What I think I'm going to do, or I'm going to try to do between episodes, don't, don't, like quote me on this is i'm going to try and go around and upgrade all of our systems to uh, to these hardened to these redstone energy conduits so that everything kind of gets a nice fair share of the power we can turn all this stuff over here back on and we can set up even more machines that use power and we shouldn't really have to worry too much about it and we'll probably also set up some sort of system i'm i'm hoping to get let's get rid of some stuff out of here so things can come in because things are getting backed up um we can also set up some sort of system hopefully where we use a redstone furnace have all of the electrum uh, the pulverized electrum Electrum, not Electrum, the pulverized Delorium that comes through here from the dust, have all of that go straight up to a redstone furnace, smell it to ingots, and then straight into our reactor so that we always have power ready for us when we need it, and things should be good to go. So we do have 20 here, so this thing, it, it'll automatically fill itself up uh, as it goes, and we should see some... Um, uh, cyanite appear as well over here that uh, we can reuse as fuel if we get ourselves some cyanite reprocessors later on down the line. So I think with that guys, I'm going to call it there. I should probably go and uh, move that tank from up here. There we go. Uh, I don't really need it too much because it's just flipping. Uh, let's see if we can. Oh, let's, let's, oh, oh. Oh, oh, forget it. <laughs> I don't want the tank. It's only glass and copper. Forget it. It's staying up there. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to hit like. Tell me what you think down in the comment section down below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.